Anyway, so we're where we left off, guys. Last time, Kangen is getting owned because Daigo is here to kick his ass. Surrender or die. I I surrender. Ha 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 ha. We win. Ha ha. We win. Good valuable. I got owned by a bunch of wooden ships and one metal ship that used to be theirs. And for that matter, the prince of their own country. Daigo looking all spiffy in his new king looking clothing. <laughs> and like I said at the beginning of this thing, we haven't learned how to fly above the clouds yet, but what we get here is a book of polarity, which by book they mean scroll, but... And this means when we give it to Brabham back home, we're going to be able to fly above the clouds again, so that's going to be pretty cool. And once you're able to fly above the clouds, the game becomes a lot easier. Trust me, the game goes from annoying random battles to absolutely like zero random battles, because there are no random battles above the clouds. And you can kind of get that effect without the Book of Polarity because you can fly above it. You can fly really close to the top of the clouds, which does give a little bit more of the, you know, you can hide from a little bit. It's not the same. Let's go home. And we got the Moon Crystal and the Book of Polarity, and Muigi is now on our team as a delegate, much like Pinta. So we're going to change our crew around now, because I we're going to want Urala as a cook, because it says she will max out your spirit points, which is really good to have, and she just refills someone's MP, and that's pretty good. And all we have to do is just get back to the ship. Yeah, so I cut to the bottom here because you know how to run through the place. And we're going to get back to Crescent Isle and we're going to end the video there probably unless we run into something. And I was thinking of saving, I didn't, I don't care. I'll save on the way back. So anyway. So now we need to think of how to get back. Yeah, we should probably go back, because as we all know, there were... Now, the right thing to say is to try going east. Because keep in mind, we're living in a time in this game where we, they don't know that the world is round. And I don't know about you, but I believe at the time of when they had engines and stuff, they knew the world was round, because they traveled the ship... Like, this game doesn't make any sense. In the real world, they flew... They went around the world on a wooden boat. In this game, they haven't gone around the world with an engine-powered boat. And not like a steam powered engine, this thing's like friggin' amazing engine. Because it flies. Anyway, so, I'm sure where I am, because I'm trying to find. There's a crew member you can meet up here, but I couldn't find him, so I said, screw that. And we're just gonna try finding that hole in this. We're gonna try finding our way to go east, which is not too hard once you find where you're going.
And it's a back attack. What the hell? What, what do you know? Hopefully we can finish this battle fast and I can get to Crescent Isle within the next five minutes of this video. Might do some cutting here and there because it's... Once you understand where I am, you'll see what I'm doing. I usually don't bother getting all the crew members because it doesn't do much for your team. As long as you get a Rala, you're pretty good. There is a thing we can do in the near future that... Well, actually, we can do it now, but it's no fun to use. And I'll explain if I ever decide to use it, but... It's not even worth using, so... I, don't, I usually don't care. I'll shoot more things at me... Rain of Swords here, and then they're all dead. Yeah, I think we can make it back to Crescent Isle by the end of this video. We'll be doing pretty good if we can. Anyway, so we can probably get to the end of this one. Anyway, so we're going to be heading east. And I am all the way east, but oh, we have to go in through Ixotaka, so now we have to go really far south. I'm going to skip all the battles here, because I just want to get back to Crescent Island. We've seen pretty much everything we can fight. None of the enemies have changed between Ixotaka then and Ixotaka now. It's the same thing. Sorry about that. Anyway, these fights start to get really annoying. It's Where the hell is this hole? coming up, I know that. It's right here, I think. I'm not stopping for all your stupid battles. There you go. I'm just gonna go along like this. I can find a hole. There it is. Oh man. And then here we are. Oh <laughs> my god. Anyway, here we are. Back in Ixitaka, as you remember now. Easy thing to do is you can just go straight east because now that we can fly through Sky Rifts, it's not hard. So we are back in Ixitaka. Now I'm making a quick trip in Horteca because you talked to Hans here real quick. And you'd love to become an engineer for us as well, but you have to you have to come back to him later. Okay, so when he's done working with Sun Time, he come up there. Anyway, there is another guy we need to get. You climb up these ladders near where near where the king was. Actually, right behind the king's uh, hut, I guess. And you're gonna want to talk to this guy over here. This funny looking dude right here, his name is Tikka Tikka. He's got the coolest name in the game. Which is why he's so awesome. He's pretty good to have on your team. I'm pretty sure he increases accuracy or something. So anyway, so that's where we're going. Still going, and as we can see, we're over... We're pretty close to Sailor's Island. Sailor's Island and Pirate Isle. That's where we're gonna want to be going. Well, I'm going to cut all the way over to this moonfish because I'm going to do the moonfish thing real quick. So we did get a few moonfish back in Yakutoma, so I figured I'd give it to him. Smacks us in the face, obviously. Then we're your Rislin box. And a female armor. And we're done. So, when we come back, we'll be at Crescent Isle. See ya.